Hey everybody, Jeff here, and welcome back to the channel where we give you all sorts of world-class advice on remodeling your homes, your kitchens, your bathrooms, how to tile and engineering disasters. And you see this stuff I've got right here? This is called Schluter Ditchra. And this right here is an uncoupling membrane as well as a waterproofing membrane used for tiling. Okay, now a few weeks ago we did a video showing you how to install this Schluter Ditchra here when you're doing tiling. And we didn't have time to show you this, but we actually had an installation failure with this Schluter Ditro product here. And it was kind of interesting. I guess if you've been around tiling long enough, you're bound to see failures like this. But, but this was caught us completely by surprise. So let me give you a quick walkthrough on what happened and how you recover from a failure like this. So if you remember from this Schluter Ditra installation video that we put up a few weeks ago for you, we told you all about the Schluter Ditra here. We showed you how to install it. We showed a textbook perfect installation here where we did all of the dry fitting first. Then we added the curdy band around it. We used the all set mortar to adhere it down to the floor. And we did everything right. We even did the silicone along the tub. And still, we had a failure. What could have caused it? Well, you will not believe what the root cause of this failure was. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later after numerous years of doing tiling. This was bound to happen. You see all those little footprints there on the mortar? So there was a tenant living in the unit there while we were doing this work. And apparently, when we left this out to dry overnight, somehow his dog, who was supposed to be caged up, got out and walked all over it and got their footprints all over the wet mortar there. So now it looks like Neil Armstrong's first footprints on the moon there. One small step for dog. So now these are everywhere. They're all over on the ditra there. And what are you going to do? Well, you just use a scraper to scrape down all of the high points there. We didn't lose too much time, maybe a half hour total, because we did have to go around the whole floor on there and scrape all of them up and re-vacuum and scrape again and vacuum again. But we did eventually get all of it there, get it grinded down nice and smooth. And then just before you're ready to tile, when you come in with your thin set mortar and you start keying it into the floor, that will fill in all of these little gaps here now so it really won't be a problem for you in the end it's basically a non-issue it's really nothing to worry about although it actually looks much worse than it is when you first see it now here you can see we're using our ruby tile saw here we score and cut all of the straight tiles here the only time I use the wet saw is really when I need an angled cut here now if you have really super textured tile, sometimes these tile scoring tools don't work. All right, so we're starting to tile now. And so I'm going to key in the mortar just into the first row, maybe a little bit into the second row, just so we can get the first row of tiles down. So, like using this all set it's very creamy smooth and creamy very easy to work with keys in easily I've worked with mortars before that just don't want to key in no matter what you do <clears throat> okay now I'm going to trowel it with a half inch back there and this way and this way nice and straight
if I turn the level there at a 45 degree angle, you could see it's nice and level. It should be level all the way around, no matter what degree we put it at. There shouldn't be any rocking. See how it's nice and perfect? That's because we use that tile leveling system. So it kept all of these tiles perfect with no lippage between the tiles. And so it stayed nice and flat all the way across, you know. You won't see any gaps running underneath the level as you go across the floor. So there you have it. That's our Schluter Ditra failure, and that's how you recover from failures like that. It's not always going to be a disaster. Sometimes it ain't pretty, but there's always a way out of it. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one, folks. And if you like this video, hey, please give us a thumbs up down below. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, why not? Make sure you click on that subscribe button down below there. And after you do that, make sure you click the little gray bell icon next to it. That way you'll be alerted every time we upload a video. Well, that's it for this one, folks, and we'll see you on the next one.